Okay, so we have to remember to define our function because sort by default in JavaScript won't uh, sort numbers correctly, right? So we have to say, uh, I think it's a minus b, and then this should work. So we're defining a function to properly sort our function. Unquote. Perhaps you are missing a return function sort a b and a minus b. That's right. A minus b. We have our function. B is passed in. Okay, so it is failing. The question is why? It's probably something small. And this is it. We have this funny code there and double brackets. Okay, run it, and there we go. So this is method one, and this will give us 100%, because now it's sorting the numbers properly. However, there is another way to solve this problem, though using sort. So never forget to use the sorting, uh, pass in a function to the sort if you're sorting numbers. So that got us 100%. So now this is method two. Start. So we can use a hash table in this case, our set. So let's just define our hash is equal to this. And now for let i is equal to zero. So what we're going to do now is method two. And here, we're going to take a different approach. So in the first approach, we relied on our array. And we sorted it. Um, and then we basically checked if a number wasn't consecutive. In this case, what we're going to do is use hash set in order to store all the numbers um, in the array. Uh, that should be in the array. And then we'll iterate through our array. And if the hash set is not empty at the end of it, um, that means we have not, um, we do not have a proper permutation because not all the numbers were found. Um, if it's, well, if it's either not empty or a duplicate number is found, right? So, okay. So create hash from array. Iterate through array from, um, well, not array, it's create hash from numbers that should be in a proper permutation of the array. Because we know that based on its the array size, right? We know this information. Iterate through array and remove bound elements from the hash. If hash is not empty or um, hash um, element to be removed is not bound, return 
to zero. So those are our two conditions. So let's give this a shot. So let i is equal to zero to i is less than a dot length. Well, actually it's equal to, and i is starting off at one, since at all times um, the smallest element is uh, one, while our array starts at index zero. So in this case, i plus plus, all we're going to do as we iterate through this loop is set the key hash of i is equal to one, all right? So now we're going to do the same thing for, but this time we're iterating through the array for real. So let's call this b to or index to prevent confusion. So idx is less than a dot length i plus plus. So hash dot remove um, a. So if hash has element, if not hash dot has property. Let's see. I forgot what the command is. Um, check JavaScript object for property. Okay, so if hash dot has own property, of i not return zero. That is one condition in which we would return a zero. Right? Next. So that is the one condition we would return a zero. So otherwise, else, if it does have the property, hash dot remove, let's see how we remove an object from it in JavaScript. I believe there, remove property, I believe there's a remove function or delete, not what it was. No, I don't think that's it. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe there's another way. Okay, maybe I'm remembering wrong. So else delete hash of a of i. Right? And then finally, return if hash dot equal to empty, return one, otherwise return zero. I think that should do it. Sometimes I have days where I don't remember. That's one way. I guess this is how we would check it. Let's see. Okay. Let's do this. Copy. Oops. Zero. Return 
turn to one. So let's see if this works. Okay, so we have an error. I is not defined. Oh, this should be IDX. IDX. Okay, run. And we have another error. Still have I somewhere. Hash is empty. IDX. Okay, run. Okay, so this is our alternative solution to the um, the perm check. Let's see how that works out. But they seem to run in the same amount of time. So preferably, if you're allowed to use the sort, which you aren't always allowed to use, write the sort functionality, they'll probably want you to code it out. Um, this would probably be the more accepted approach to solving the problem. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, hope it helped. And those are two potential weight methods to solving the perm check problem.